You want me to? Yeah. It needs just one more minute. I know you get that announcement, but it's there's a bit of a delay. Give me just one sec. Okay. And now you're good. Thank you. Great. Thank you. I'm going to uh, call this um, meeting of the uh, Boards and Commission Appointments Committee uh, to order uh, for January 31st. And uh, Linda, would you call the roll? Yes, Councillor Anderson. Here. Councillor Gonzalez. Councillor Hoy. Here. Thank you. And then Councillor Stapleton is the alternate. I don't believe she's joining us today. And then uh, Mayor Bennett. Here. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll review applications. Has everybody got their list in front of them? Okay. Yep. I'm going to work uh, work off. Did everybody this. see that we got one electronically this morning? Yeah, we got ECUS yeah. this morning. Ron Ekus's yeah, application Ron. was submitted to us this morning. Tom, I see you shaking yes. your head there. So what I'm going to do is use this uh, page where it just gives the name, ward, and occupation to kind of, that's the order I'd like to go through them. So if you want to set up your, we got quite a few application forms, but I thought we could run through this fairly quickly and uh, determine who we'd like to bring in for, for this interview. Um, Mayor, may I point something out very quickly? I neglected to put one of the names on the list, but her application should be in the stack. Her name is Jennifer Timbra. Yes, I, she's just not on the list, so I apologize for that. Jennifer, and she, you've got her application. Yes. She's for Ward 3. She works for DEQ as a natural resources specialist. But you've got her application. Okay. Um, Before we get started, Mr. Mayor, I have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, Linda, on the the, quality, the special membership requirements, it talks about no more than two voting members shall be engaged in the same kind of business trade or profession. I don't know what the makeup is of the current board members, so I don't know where how any of that would play into uh, these applications, if it would throw us over the limit on any of those. So I'm just yeah, curious it about does that. on one, uh, on the roster counselor Hoy, there, there should be the notation there of what they, those current members. Oh, do. thank you. Sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that'll, what that's going to tell you, I'll just give you the short version is we have, uh, I believe three people applying for one available potential developer realtor type person. We, we have one in Levin and we could add, we could, we aren't required to, we could add one more, but that would be the limit, okay? Tom, you're muted, Tom. me but who are yeah. those three the three uh, would be birma truett and uh gwyn okay thank you very much you bet and then the rest it looks like uh there'd be i kind of looked at them to see if there's like two architects or two of of anything, I really don't see any, and I'm not willing, and I'm sure you guys probably feel the same way to say, because you work for the state of Oregon, that doesn't mean you, you're you in the same profession. It's, uh, yeah, so uh, I left those alone. Those are, or if you're retired, that's not a the kind of conflict I think they were thinking of. The, the one that, as I, I came on to the planning commission years ago and it was at a time, it was almost exclusively people in development of some kind. And I was the only, they brought me on in place of a member who, who wanted to re-up, who was in that business. They really needed to get a non-developer. And that's when we started, uh, they started and, and then later we did some more actively trying to get fewer planning yeah, fewer developers. It was just really dominated at that point, and I, it, I think people still think it's dominated by developers. It's not. 
uh, we've done a good job over the past uh, seven, eight years getting this thing squared away. Okay, you guys, um, what I'd like to do is begin with one suggestion. Uh, we, have, uh, we have interviewed uh, Jordan Truitt and uh, Logan Lohr, we, Mr. Birma was unable. I'd like to bring those three in with everyone else we're going to interview. I think we might as well see sort of everybody together. Is that, is that reasonable? So I would just put them on the list of we're going to interview them. You're on mute, Tom. Interview them again? Yeah. I just have, okay, okay. Um, how many do we think, this is a, just a process question, how many do you think we ought to interview for two positions? Because, you know, if we have three that we already interviewed, we've got five or six coming yeah. here, and we're getting to a lot of number if we're only going to pick end up picking two. Yeah. Well, that's a suggestion. You can tell me it's not a good suggestion. <laughs> I hear you. I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. I'd like to hear what Councillor Hoy has to say. And um, before he does, I'll just say that I went through all these, not counting Ron Ekus, and I came up with about five to interview. Exactly. And, and, and of the nine or so, and I would certainly add Ekus, former PUC commissioner, oh, yeah. to that list. But, I, you know, I, I'd be happy to... I, I actually listed people in order, you know, and so I'd be happy to go to the, uh, you know, drop off somebody at the end, but I'd like to hear what Councillor Hoy has to say. So my thoughts, thank you, Councillor. My thoughts are, we've already interviewed Mr. Truett twice. We've interviewed Mr. Lore. I feel like, I don't, I, <laughs> I feel bad asking to interview them again. I would like to consider their applications in this group, but I'm not, I'm not sure asking them for another interview would be necessarily helpful. Uh, okay. And I mean, I feel like I got a good sense of them before and I, it wasn't so long ago that I think people will remember uh, how they did and, and consider their applications. I, I definitely wanna consider them uh, in the group, but I'm not sure that we need to interview them again. But if you think in terms of a process, we need to, I'm fine with that as well. Yeah, I, I, I let's see how many we wanna do. Let's just set those three. Do you wanna, uh, do you want to interview Birma? You have not interviewed Birma. No? Okay. No. But the reason I'm saying no, he, he looks like he has some good qualifications, but I looks to me like he's very young and very inexperienced. And planning commission is like that and the budget are the two top boards we have. And yeah. you kind of, most of the time, unless you've got a lot of experience, you kind of have to work your way up to the, uh, to the, plan, uh, the planning commission. That's just my view. Yeah, I, I and my view on that is that he had an opportunity to interview and he didn't show. Yeah, yeah, that was a technical issue. Well, well there's really. whatever. Yeah, I know you're right. Uh, he's also another uh, realtor, uh, which is we we've got a pretty good representation of that uh, uh, profession on here. I, I think we could let him know that he should leave his application on file with us and we will consider it again or expect future councils to look at it again when this opens up. They open up often enough that uh, he'd have a real shot at it. But what he ought to also do is make sure he's got applications in for other boards and commissions as per Councillor Anderson's observation, which I think is really right on the money. We've got some budget committee, Parks Board, I think, is another one where I like to see people who've got at least some activity. I mean, they're pretty, pretty important committees to us. I'm getting that way with the Library Board. Anyway, okay, sounds good. We will do that. So we won't be interviewing. We've already interviewed Truett and Lore. We will not be interviewing Mr. Birma. Okay, the next one is Kaylee Thought. I mean, it's pretty hard to say no to the president of the architects board and a person with her background, I think. I, I agree, I agree. And she works for an architecture firm that does yeah. a lot of work for the city. They were involved in the police department. Uh, yeah. They were the local people. 
and uh, they're civic minded. So I, I, she was actually uh, very know, high on list. my list or number two. Yeah. Number one or two on my list of people to, to, uh, I would like to interview. Okay. So we will interview Kaylee. Yeah. Elliot Lapinel. I, I would suggest uh, he needs some maybe additional experience with the city in some other areas uh, that might be uh, of interest to him. Maybe we could uh, encourage him to apply for some other boards and commissions. What do you think, Tom? You well, I liked him, but I also see your point. And he is Grant Neighborhood. And you know, I, he had a good application, but we're down to, uh, we, we, we're going to have to pick two and we've already got, we've already yeah. got four who we've interviewed and, and with um, the Kaylee Fott and then Ron Ekus, um, you know, we're, we're, we've already got four now for two and I think we'll probably add some of the others. So um, yeah, we're not done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll, we'll, uh, Linda will make contact with Mr. Lapinell and, and encourage him because he does a lot for Grant Neighborhood and it looked really oh, uh, he's great. great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Linda Nishioka. Uh, Linda is also applying for the um, Historic Preservation Committee Commission. Uh, that's a mayor's appointment. I can just commit to you. I will appoint her to that. And as soon as I have an opening to do it, and we'll get her on that, let her have some experience on that. I don't know if she would come into uh, be just a, she would be one of the multiple developer realtor types that we, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I will commit that I'll get her appointed to that uh, Landmarks Commission. I appreciate Works that. Works for me. Yeah, me too. I appreciate that, Mr. Mayor, because as you know, she and her husband, Gary, developed the Coe's. Oh, yeah. Apartment no, they're great. And they've done a good job. And I I, I, uh, I happen to know her and Gary a long time ago personally because I, I knew uh, uh, Linda's father, who was a juvenile counselor down in the in the Lane County in the in the early 80s. And then worked at a bike store. So I've known them for a long time and she's yeah. very civic minded, but I think that historic preservation, if you could, um, uh, you just said you commit to her. I think that's good. Oh yeah. No, I, I think she, we really need to get her uh, into a, a role with the city. Yeah. And I think that would be just a perfect, and she's in exactly the right spot downtown to yeah. Yeah. really have a great impact. Um, Deanna Gwynn. Well, we put, we another real estate Timber. person. I'm sorry, yeah. is she was kind of so good. okay. Yeah, Deanna right. Gwynn. She's another real estate broker. I feel like we have already reached our max on that for yeah. getting there. Yeah, and frankly, Jordan Truitt, um, uh, you know, if he's in that same class, uh, he's really shown interest yeah. in this coming and and being here, and he's got good ideas. Uh, uh, you know, he, he wants the job because he, he really, really wants to do it. <laughs> he really does. You don't often yeah. get people who are that committed to really no. wanting to. No. And, and I, I, yeah, I, I feel the same way. Okay, we'll let her know, but ask her to keep her application on yeah. file yeah. 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 and up to date. That brings us to you, Jennifer Timbra. Jennifer's the DEQ Natural Resources Specialist that did she doesn't show up on this list, but she's one of the applicants. And I, I'd be interested in hearing. Would you I feel would that too. same yeah. way? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Too. Yes. And Ron Ekus, I think just just because he's Ron Ekus, we ought to talk to him. He's <laughs> he's got a wealth of knowledge that I think would be. He great. really does. He's just yeah. a, a, no, a he's, real threat. He's, yeah, he's 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 very good. So what we're ending up with is Truett and Lore, who we have interviewed, Kelly Fott, Tim Brooke, and Ron Ekus. Is that That's correct? That's right. Those five? will be the five that we can vote on. Yes. And we will interview Fott, Tim Brooke, 
and ECUS. Yes. Yeah, that's good for me. Sound good? I think that's great. That's great. Yeah. Yep. Okay. This is a short that's meeting. Well. Unless, this is a short then meeting. We'll bring unless, that forward then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, is Dan want to tell us something now, now that he's here? Yeah. I don't know why he's here. Yeah. I'm not sure why I'm here either, Mayor. Uh, I had nothing to add to the conversation. Okay. So, He's trying to keep Anderson out of hot water, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop me. Okay, well, then I'm going to adjourn the meeting. Thank you, guys.